Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Vault with MJ. This is Muradija. Today I will show you how you can host your .NET Core application on iOS. So currently I have taken a .NET 6 template uh, which I will show you how we will go and host this application over iOS. So here you can see I have taken .NET 6 project. So now first of all just for understanding we'll uh, run this application locally is everything is working fine or not just for checking so the project is running right now I mean looks everything is fine so this is just a demo application so uh, not go, go much about it let's will close it and we'll go again on our screen so once our application is working fine i mean build is succeeded and uh, running locally fine then the next step will be we need to go and publish our application to uh, use that particular published file over uh, any other hosting server so currently i will show you everything on our local machine so the same thing you can go and uh, set on your remote machine and uh, just need to use that particular published file over there so it will be a public domain okay so for the next step i will go here and will go and click on publish okay so because previously i already have published this application that's why this location is showing i mean uh, the purpose of this location is when i will click on this publish button so our file will be published uh, on that location but for your clear understanding i will create the same step uh, phrase so when i clicked on new i got uh, these many options so currently uh, i am doing this activity manually that's why i will click on folder option will go and click next okay here uh, first of all i need to create a place where i want to publish our files so currently i will go and uh, write here I mean create a folder here publish publish demo okay any name as you want you can put here so here I will just go and select that particular folder that I have created under D drive or any place according to your requirement you can select so I will go and click on this publish demo this file, uh, folder I uh, recently created so I will click on ok mm, and finish that means okay and this is successfully uh, I mean connected created now we'll click on close so here you can see now our publish folder will be available under the publish demo i mean publish file all file or folder will be available under the publish demo okay so i will click on publish so it will take i mean some time because it is depend on how long your project is time in this is a very small project so it will take five to ten seconds to be published once it will be published then we'll show you the further step for deployment so looks everything is good succeeded one and no any failed that means our file is published so we'll go and check um, the public list everything is working fine here i mean when i was created there was nothing after published uh, there is some required artifacts that is uh, required at a time of uh, the hosting of your site okay so now the next step will be our uh, code related activities done from here uh, you have created your project uh, run in your local everything is fine then you you go and pub i mean publish uh, your uh, uh, project on uh, desired folders so everything is looks okay now we'll go for the further steps like uh, how you can host on the server so for that you will need to click on iis okay so once you will click on iis sometime it it not be uh, I mean associable in your system the reason behind is uh, you need to go in your uh, uh, turn on window features and from there you need to go and uh, I mean enable the IS so for example if you not get uh, go, got this IS so you will do one thing so 
so here you will search turn on window features okay so once you will click on that it is just in case when you will not get the is from the search tabs in this case only so don't be confused just for your understanding i will show it so okay here when you will open the turn on window so you just have to select the internet information service okay so here you you may see i have selected the things like internet information service a uh, hostable web core okay so this is by default selected so uh, make make sure uh, this file is selected or uh, i mean this option is uh, selected or not then only you can get the is okay so in my case it is already selected that's why i got the is server now the next step for hosting the site here so here i will go on the site section i already have the default site in my system right now so we'll go and do one thing we'll create a new site uh, just we will give any name so currently i will give demo site or we can give test okay test website so uh, i mean you can give according to your uh, project or requirements so i have just given a test name so this is the first things another is i mean where you have published your code that path need to be uh, connected here so i will go under the place where i have published this file so i have published under the publish demo recently so i will connect this i will click on okay now these two things has done uh, now we'll not do anything related to that we'll just go and we can use the same name as well so for example i just want to run our application on this domain okay so currently i'm using uh, i mean uh, setting up everything in locally uh, but uh, in your case if you are going to set uh, from the production point of view so you must uh, need to think about what, what will be the actual domain name will be there according to your project okay so but the whole process will be the same uh, currently i am doing the same thing on our local server at the same time you will have a remote server or uh, i mean you have you will have a production server where you will connect from the remote and you will get this type of uh, all interfaces and you will do the same activity so don't worry about now i will click on okay okay so once i will click on okay so i mean everything is working fine one thing one once you will click on this browse site so here you will have the issue i mean uh, currently because this is not a public domain that's why it has it has sent us in on uh, on on any other domains that's why we will do one thing so we will in my case currently i will open our hosting file okay so here you will open the hosting file and uh, just one thing to consider you will not be able to edit anything in the hosting file uh, without the admin privileges okay so that's why you will that's why you will open this file as, okay so once you will click on run as administrator so now in this notepad you will open that uh, host file okay so i will write here run driver and because i need to add that url in our host file uh, currently when i am on local server in this case then we'll go and open that host file here and once again i highlighted you currently i open uh, this notepad in administrative privileges i mean uh, normally uh, you can open this host but you will not be able to edit anything so that's why you need to do the same thing in admin privileges so here you you can see so this is the ip for default local host so here i will just put my new domain name that i have created right now the uh, why uh, the another website is opening here or i mean 
something else is opening here the reason behind is currently uh, i am using the local is server that's why but uh, when you will purchase some dedicated server in this case this issue will not be there okay so i have hosted uh, in my hosting side now i will click on test website again okay so now it is working fine so here uh, you can see you can do the all activity that we have done locally and one thing to keep in your mind so first of all first time when you will go and host your site in your i mean dot net core uh, application on your is so there you will have an error called you do not have the dot uh, net core bundle available or not available okay so i mean most of the time you must have this because you haven't installed the uh, hosting bundle in your uh, with your visual studio that's why i will add a uh, extension as well so this is the extension i mean this is uh, the software so i will add this link in your uh, description and video description so uh, once click on this uh, uh, link you will have a option called current.net core hosting bundle installer okay so once you will click on uh, this then you will easily download it currently i recently installed it in my system so here you can see i have downloaded it and installed all in my system so in your case if you will got uh, the error once your is will be uh, i mean configured then you will just need to go on the given url and you will just need to install this uh, .NET core hosting bundle installer and you just need to install and uh, everything looks okay as you expected okay so currently you can see, see everything is going okay uh, so this is just a uh, i mean demo application that i have designed for uh, using open ai okay so that's all related to how you can host your dotnet application dotnet core application on the is server the same activity you can do for your production server as well if you feel uh, this video looks helpful to you then please subscribe our channel for this type of informative video and do not forget to hit the bell icon for the future updates please like and share with your dev community thank you thank you so much